The original Red Bull drink was developed in 1962 by Thai businessman Chileo Uityar. Sold under the name Crating Dang, Thai for Red Bull, it was popular with truck drivers and blue-collar workers. Visiting Thailand in 1982, Austrian marketing director Dietrich Marderschitz discovered that the drink helped cure his jet lag. Keen to bring the drink to Western consumers, Marderschitz partnered with Uwitjer, founding Red Bull GmbH. The agreement enabled Marderschitz to sell a less sweet, carbonated version of Red Bull in Western markets. Red Bull launched in Austria in 1987, pitching itself to office workers, students, and sports enthusiasts. Sales were slow, however, due to premium pricing and distributors' aversion to a new product category, energy drinks. The drink's high caffeine and taurine levels also led to restrictions on its sale in certain European markets. However, the drink gained traction in discotheques and clubs as a stimulant and popular mixer with vodka. Red Bull also adopted unconventional marketing tactics by sponsoring many extreme sports and athletes. The drink gained popularity, expanding outside Europe, with the premium pricing proving to be a hit with retailers. With production costs of less than 20 cents per can and a recommended retail price of US $3 to $4 per can, profit margins were sky high. With growing revenue for marketing, Marderschitz wasn't content with traditional advertising. We don't bring the product to the people. We bring people to the product, he told The Economist in 2002. Red Bull pioneered experiential marketing, expanding event sponsorships and creating its own, such as the Red Bull Stratos Altitude Jump with Austrian daredevil Felix Baumgartner on the 14th of October 2012. Today, Red Bull is a world-class sporting empire owning several soccer teams and two Formula One racing teams. Passing away in 2022, aged 78, Martyr Schitz had a net worth estimated at around $28 billion. He left behind a beverage, media, and sports empire that revolutionized all three industries.